allegedly lighter recoiling 308 than 556. Let's have a look. Okay, no shit, that might be true. No shit, that, that actually, that is kind of cool. You definitely feel the concussion, you feel, you know, that you're shooting a more powerful round, but it, it, it's some kind of weird, it, the, the recoil sensation is, is, the impulse is weird. That's right, it's soft. It just it's it's so concussion. strange. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, Michael, tell us about it. Michael so, with Olympus Arms, That's right. what Michael do you guys Reno. have at the show? Yeah, so I'm the inventor of this rifle. Um, I've been in the military for 20 years, and I started working on this uh, the first time I shot a Barrett. I said, why can't we do a Barrett in 30 cal? And they said, it's impossible, it can't be done. And I said, okay, challenge accepted. Dude, that is so ridiculous. It took me 10 years to build this rifle. Uh, I How does it work? Go ahead. H how does it work? So it's a long recoil gun. So the barrel and the bolt carrier group come back together but it has an accelerator that actually extends the bolt carrier group a little bit further, and that allows it to unlock and extract the round on the rearward stroke. So we're using recoil energy to do the work of the semi-auto rifle, and that's, what, that's all it does. It's actually pretty simple. Very simple, yes. We call it modern long recoil because if you take some of Browning's old designs and you evolve them into our century, this is what you would end up with. So right now you're making probably just one or two different versions and they're both 308s, right? Yeah, so we have all different kinds of rail systems and stock options. We have a pistol, we don't use the buffer tube at all. We don't need a buffer tube in it at all. Interesting, why is that? It's because the, the spring for the carrier lives above it, right? So a little bit, it's a mix of all of the firearms that we like. This is freaking ridiculous, <laughs> holy crap. So it's got some AK features, it's got some AR features, it's got some Barrett features. It's got all the things that we like from every firearm we've ever shot. And we put it all together into one. So you can fold the stock and shoot it with the stock fold. What type of part compatibility do we have with like the AR-10? So the only parts, uh, the ones that we thought were the most important are things like the stock, the pistol grip, the magazines. We have an M-lock system, rail system, of course the Picatinny but everything inside of the rifle is proprietary and patent pending. I tell people that the only part inside that is similar to an AR, well, we've got the trigger group, but it's the firing pin or retaining pin. Everything else we've made ourselves. What do you think? That's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Sounds expensive. How much are we talking? So to retailers, it's going to be in the $3,800 range, and we're having an MSRP of somewhere between $4,500 and $4,700. And when's it going to be released? Today. Today at Today, SHOT Show. At SHOT Show. It is released. Well, Michael, that is very exciting. I mean, seriously, you, know, you came and you grabbed me and you said, that, James, this is lighter recoiling. And I, I, I honestly wanted to come over here so I could shoot this thing and say you were full of shit. But it turns out you are not. Yes, thank <laughs> like, you so much. That actually really does work. Thanks for showing it to us. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more SHOT Show 2023.